100% of Iceland's electricity comes from sustainable resources. You can find crops thriving in huge greenhouses and geothermal water heats 90% of homes. In Reykjavik, the leftovers are even directed under the streets to keep them ice-free in winter. Call it underfloor heating for an entire city. But it turns out that abundant energy changes habits as well as heating bills. And apparently, the farm next door is a case in point. All right, we're all set. Even though Kiddy, who runs operations here, is not exactly your typical farmer. We're going to go look at Godzilla and King Kong. Yeah, because they're absolute monsters. And wow. here they are. They're pretty cool, right? Really cool. Godzilla and King Kong are tanks filled with algae. Hundreds of kilos of it, mixed with salt water and infused with carbon dioxide bubbles supplied by the power station next door. So is the algae in here? Yeah. Kiri believes microalgae have an important role to play in the sustainability of food production. What is it that's special about algae? For agricultural food production, most of what you're growing is infrastructure because you don't eat the roots, you don't yeah. eat the stems. A little bit of corn at the end, maybe. Exactly. Yeah. Algae, they're a single cellular organism. We can use 100% of the biomass. The farm can produce up to 150 tonnes of microalgae a year, using up to 500 times less water and 1,500 times less land than traditional crops. And it's harvested year-round. No seasons, no pause button. 